So in order not to be distracted, I have a very, very well explained criminal offense that has been committed by Bola Ahmed Tinimbo, INEC chairman, and the rest of the people we are dragging in this mess. Now, let's don't be distracted. Here are the real issues they want us to stop talking about. Number one, Bola Tinimbo's drug case and 460,000 for fetcher. Number two, 25% in SCT. Number three, false certificates. Number four, INEC not following its guidelines. Number five, Shetima's double nomination. Number six, election rigging. Number seven, Guinea passport and perjury. Number eight, EU report. Number nine, all eyes on the judiciary. So we need to stay focused. But this is not what I've come to discuss, of course. I've come to make a bold, clear point that today I've gotten from one of our very own Teddy Ezeike. Now, we are going to be discussing something about Bola Met Tinimbu and the reason why he must be unseated. Now, Tinimbu was fined for dishonesty. Deep analysis of Section 137, Subsection 1D, and Section 137, Subsection 1E shows Tinimbu lawyers as jokers. Remember, Section we are, we are having a deep analysis on section 137. Now, we have uh, there are several things we are going to be discussing today. Number one is conviction. Number two is sentence. Number three is fine. That is the F-I-N-E, fine. Then in that fine, we have, uh, under it, we have committed fine and we have non-committed fine. Then uh, the four, we have dishonesty. We have offense. So let's start from conviction. Now, what does conviction mean? A formal declaration by the verdict of a jury or the decision of a judge in a court of law that someone is guilty of a criminal offense. We need to understand what conviction is all about before we start talking about Tinimbu's find for dishonesty. Now, we have number two. We have sentence. Sentence is the punishment for a crime ordered by a trial court after conviction in a criminal procedure. Normally, at the conclusion of a trial, a sentence may consist of imprisonment, a fine, or other sections. And number three, we have fine. We have monetary penalty associated with an offense imposed as part of a judgment and commitment. There are two types of fines. We have number one, committed fine, a monetary penalty imposed with a condition of imprisonment until the fine is paid and number two non-committed fine a monetary penalty which has no condition of confinement imposed now we have uh, the offense and acts or behavior prohibited by criminals criminal law and therefore punishable by law fines imprisonment additional sentences etc the distinction is made between three categories of offenses depending on their severity and the applicable sentences. Simply offenses, misdemeanors, and felony. Now we have section 137, subsection 1D. Now let's explain. He is under a sentence of death imposed by any competent court of law tribunal in Nigeria or a sentence of imprisonment or fine for any offense involving dishonesty or fraud by whatever name called or for any other offense imposed on him by any court or tribunal or substituted by a competent authority for any other sentence imposed on him by such a court or tribunal section 137 1e within a period of less than 10 years before the date of the election to the office of president he has been convicted and sentenced for an offense involving dishonesty or he has been found guilty of the con contraventions of the code of conduct number one section 137 subsection 1d is a disjunction of three parts any one part or combination of the three nails the person number two section 137 subsection 1 is two broad parts Part 1 is a conjunction which implies the two conditions must occur for it to take effect. The second part is a stand alone. 
the first and the second part combined together is a disjunction. This means either the first part, which is conjunctive, is true, or the second part is true for the person to be nailed. Number three, from the definitions above, Tinubu was not convicted. He was not also sentenced. Number four, Tinubu was fined, a non-committed fine. So we said non-committed fine. If we should, if we should go back to what we said about non-committed fine, a non-committed fine is a monetary penalty which has no condition or confinement imposed. So Tinubu was convicted of non-committed fine. So if they are coming out, if his team are coming out to tell lies on on what Labour Party, the load of evidence that Labour Party has brought, saying that it was his account that was used, is very funny. You know, we're going to be exposing them on a daily basis. Now, number five, the fine by way of forfeiture is evidently due to offence of dishonesty. Evidently due to offence of dishonesty. Number six, Tinebu was not convicted and sentenced which is the purpose of section 1371A. Well explained. Should we explain it again? Now, section 137 of 1A is two broad parts. Part 1 is a conjunction which implies the two conditions must occur for it to take effect. The second part is a stand alone. The first and the second part combined together is a conjunction. This means either the first part, which is conjunctive, is true, and the second part is true for the person to be nailed. So, Tinimbu was fined for dishonesty in line with part 3 of the injunctive section 137, subsection 1D. So, if they are trying to, you know, defend Bola Ahmed Tinimbu on the ground that he didn't commit any crime, that should be very funny. It should be very funny and i think they should be taken for granted now one of the most important fact remains that we have not forgotten the the main purpose why we voted p2b during the election and why we must fight tooth to nail to make sure that our mandate is has has to be reclaimed number one p2b was not the one who sponsored the election it was the people we saw people contributing millions some came with their vehicles some printed Labour Party polos and flags and thereabout just to make it happen. And we have men who sat down in the middle of the night, decided to crumble the effort of the youth. I myself, I stood in on, under the sun when they are around 8 o'clock. The, the election finished around 3 o'clock and they started counting the vote. I stayed there till 7 o'clock. So someone to come and tell me that, uh, you know, he can just sit back and decide who is going to be the next president should not be accepted. So we must understand that the beginning had just started and the end will soon come to finish. Thanks for supporting the future news. More cases are surrounding Bola Maitinimbo. Peace. Okay. I don't want to